okay guys welcome to sasumi script and tech my name is solomon gift and today i'll be walking you guys through how i was able to make over twenty thousand dollars trading the chromia token and i'll show you guys the strategy i made use of and how i was able to pull that off within within the space of roughly 10 months i was able to make a profit of over twenty thousand dollars trading only the chromia token so guys hang in there and i'll show you how i was able to make all of this possible so let me just dive in straight to trading view so we could analyze the chart to show you guys my trade setup and all of what i did so i'll just briefly reset this okay guys so for those that don't know chromia is a blockchain token and it's been around for a while but I discovered this project early 2021, yeah, January, February 2021. That's when I discovered this project. Okay, let me just reset everything I have here so that you can be able to follow up to see how I add up all the settings. So guys, basically I, I started trading this project with less than $3,000, less than $3,000. I discovered it january february 2021 but i didn't buy with over 500 dollars until the crash we had between may yeah the may crash yeah so i i got in on chromia heavily in the month of june and i'll show you guys because immediately i i noticed the token i had to carry out some serious research on the project and i had to feel comfortable with it before i jumped in and then i was actually trading it more like not really long term and not really short term basically i was i was carrying out my trades in weeks two three weeks one month and all of that so guys let me show you guys straight up what i was able to do so at first when i when i first bought the chromia token Okay, when I first got the Crimea token, I went in with very, very little amount of money, just $500. That was when I first discovered the project, January, February. I got in with just $500 and then it was around $0.15. Cent. Now, when we had the peak bull run, which was around March, barely one month plus after i got the project i saw it it got to as high as 70 cents which is what you could see here and then the 500 dollars i put into this project was now worth way over three thousand dollars the 500 dollars i put in there it was over three thousand dollars now i had to go study to find out why is this project really pumping because i was expecting like a 3x I was not really expecting it that fast and I was not really thinking it to be as much as 6x within that very short period of time. So I, I got in and I started doing my research, reading about the project, reading what they were doing and I was really amazed but that's not what we're talking about today. So I'll just be analyzing the chart to show you guys what to expect and how I was able to grow that $500 to over $20,000 just on Chromia token alone. So afterwards, before before the, the, the crash that happened in May, the money I invested in Chromia was already above $3,000. And when the crash happened, I lost some of the amounts, but I was able to salvage $2,500. I was able to salvage that. And that was when I got in heavy and I started swing trading chr token so guys this is what i did so first and foremost showing you the indicators i made use of the first the first indicator i made use of was the the, the, the ema moving average exponential i made use of it i made use of it on the 50 day and 12 day so you could do the same thing it's it's extremely it's extremely powerful guys extremely powerful really really powerful so this is just how you can set it up so 
uh, just to make this very clear yeah this for the 12d and the other i made this of was for the 50d moving average if we could leave it on green and could make it tick just to be able to see it very well okay i think i should change the color to red that should be better so these were the two major indicators i made use of together with my trend lines and being able to study the supports and resistance so guys this was when i first got into this project when i discovered it i just threw in 500 dollars okay guys this was when i got into the project as i said i i did my research january february and afterwards i got in late february early march i got into the project around 10 cent or thereabouts now you can see this was where i got in now afterwards to my greatest surprise within the space of one month the project did over 6x from my entry you could see it here went to as high as 75 cents and my 500 dollars was over three thousand dollars but before i could go to the charts and see what was happening do one or two things it started correcting and it was very very fast so i panicked and i sold off at around 50 cents panicked and sold off at around 50 cents and i was able to salvage about two thousand five hundred dollars and afterwards i had to go and do like some serious research because while it was pumping i was trying to do some research to find out why this project was flying so fast and so high within a very short period of time and before i could even finish my research it had started dumping and if you if you notice you'll find out that this pump was just within a space of five days you can see from the 8th of march till the 12th within a space of five days it had done that massive pump and after which it was an aggressive correction which i panicked i sold off around 50 cents salvaged some funds and i continued my research on the project and i decided to add my indicators and trade this token properly because initially i didn't do that now immediately i added my indicator i noticed instantly that <clears throat> The project had broken through the 12 day moving average and definitely I didn't still buy in. I didn't trade it. I kept watching it and I was moved to buy the project when it broke below the 50 day moving average. So as you can see, this was why I had to add these two indicators. They're extremely important guys. I've been able to make use of these same indicators to trade other assets and I've made very, very good returns. So this is very, very important guys. Pay close attention to this. So when I analyzed the chart then, I noticed that it had broken through the 12 day moving average, but I didn't buy. I kept observing because of bitcoin was looking very bad bitcoin was looking very very bad then and i knew that if bitcoin continued crashing then what it meant was alts would have continued going down to basically so i still didn't buy bitcoin at this point was was not looking so good so i, I kept my cool and i kept observing the market now it went this low and i was actually forced to buy but i didn't i still didn't buy i was still observing now this was when i finally got in this was when i finally got in i finally got in when the project went above the 12 day moving average this was when i finally got in the month of july when the project was finally above 12 day moving average i got in now most persons would ask why did you get in at this point so let me show you guys why what i did then was i went to the chart 
and I had to look for where the made the first breakout was that gave me that over 6x. I had to look for it and I noticed this was where it was at. This was where it had that first major breakout after consolidating for so long. Now seeing that the the market has forced the price down drastically and it went to as low as my initial entry point i was tempted to get in but i didn't i was waiting for a signal that would tell me to buy that's one thing that's very important guys when you're trading even when you feel like the asset is extremely undervalued you don't just buy unless you're a very very long-term investor i remember guys i said something after losing some of the profit i made from this token i panic and sold to salvage 2500 dollars profit now this time around i decided to trade it as a sniper and to be able to maximize the potential of this project and to no longer panic buy or panic sell so i had to wait for the signal to jump in and where was the signal this was the signal immediately the project went above the night the 12 day moving average which is this yellow line immediately it closed above it i bought in and i bought in with all of the money i took out which was the 2500 dollars i bought in with everything and I felt very confident i felt i was doing the very right thing because for me i had already created my trading rule and i had to follow it later so guys i got in at that point and afterwards it went as high as 50 cents now i i i noticed that we had a good resistance at 47 cents why because before i bought at this point i had seen that chromia was the token was trying to break above 47 cents until bitcoin forced the price further with the may crash forced the price down so i knew that it was going to have some issues and some difficulties breaking through this point so immediately it got to about 47 cents i was very very observant looking at daily candle each day to see if it would close above this point now this is one thing that most traders don't pay attention to also before you get into a trade you need to make sure it has actually breached that current support or the resistance depending on if you're going short or long now in this case let's assume as a trader you're trying to long this coin or you're trying to short this coin and it's at a current resistance you can see how do you know this is a resistance one notice here it tried to go past this yeah the high price for that day was way higher than that but it didn't close above this the next day it did close above it and afterwards you could see here it tried to close above this it couldn't same thing here same thing here and same thing here and it was very very obvious that this point or this line basically is the current support and resistance it becomes a support when we're able to flip it but since we've been unable to flip it it becomes a resistance so now it tried the first day i was watching the chart on that day and it didn't close above it and the second day it still couldn't close above it but i still didn't take profit why because it was still above the 12 day moving average now immediately we went below the 12 day moving average immediately that was the sell signal for me i sold now remember i bought around 15 cent and i sold off immediately we went below this i sold off the second day now i sold off around 40 cents basically and i was able to make another 3x pushing my portfolio to over seven thousand dollars my holdings for this project now that wasn't where i made the major gain yet so i left it and i kept observing now my next entry point was when it went above the 12 day moving average again now guys if, if you notice i made very very good use of my 12 day moving average i made 
very very good use of it and all of my trades were majorly spot the bulk of my trade it was majorly spot 80 percent on this token it was spot trades 80 percent of it guys it was spot trades so guys at this point immediately it went past or it went above the 12 day moving average i already knew that something similar happened here and i also knew that something similar happened here and i was expecting it to get to this point again to at least test the resistance again before if the momentum and the volume was strong it would obviously break that resistance so immediately it went above this point i bought back i bought back but there wasn't so much profit or so much difference why was because i sold off around 40 cents and i got back in almost at 40 cents but this was what i did differently this time around from the 7k dollars plus i made i used 5k dollars to buy back at this point almost at 40 cents and i used 2k dollars 2200 dollars for features and i decided to long the assets so i longed the asset to the 10x leverage that was what i did 10x leverage i went long and i bought with 5k on spot trade now that was one of the best decisions i took while trading this asset it was one of the best decisions i took why because you could see i got in around this point immediately it went above the 12 day moving average and i was extremely observant to see if it would break this resistance we had here so my trade strategy i had two options one take profits at this point that was one or two risk it to see how far it can go now for my for my leverage trade i actually had a stop loss at 0 0.3 yeah this was where i had my stop loss at 30 cents i had my stop loss there because i was anticipating that it wouldn't go below that because that was like the previous low so i wasn't expecting it to go below that point and that was why i didn't use so much funds on my features trading but for the spot i didn't set any stop on the spot i didn't i just felt for the spot this was actually like the fourth or fifth time it was testing this resistance and it was going to break break especially since in the month of november bitcoin was already heading to about sixty thousand dollars so i was expecting this token to perform extremely well and also because based on my rigorous research on mines or on chromia i noticed that they were also launching a game that was built on chromia mines of delania which was listed on binance around that same period so i knew based on fundamental analysis this time around it was going to break above this current resistance and i was right it did break above it now immediately it went above this i kept watching and observing watching the 12 day moving average that was my sell point for whenever it closed below this 12 day moving average i would sell so i kept watching and the assets kept performing beyond what i anticipated and it went to as high as 1.4 dollars and of course i didn't sell i left it and it went back to test this 12 day moving average which was the third time it was testing it this was the first time tested it second time and this was the third time now for me i have this mindset that whenever a support or resistance or a moving average is being tested for three four times the fifth time most times it would break so i was anticipating that break so now i still left it and it went as high as 1.5 now when when the assets got to about 1.3 i took profits at 1.3 then the 5k dollars i invested was what over fifteen thousand dollars almost eighteen thousand dollars because i got in at 40 cents so i took profit at 1.3 and i closed 80 percent converted 80 percent of my spot trade converted it to usdt and for my leverage trade I, I was i was up on very 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 good profit i had made over 5k dollars 
from my 2k long like i was on very good profit so by the time i summed everything together i was sitting at a profit of over twenty thousand dollars on this project alone so i made sure to take out 18k dollars out at 1.3 i set trailing stop loss for my derivatives trading set the trailing stop loss and it was only a matter of time i set it at two percent price difference and it was only a matter of time it closed out giving me a profit of over six thousand dollars it closed out then i also closed 80 percent of my spot trade converted it to usdt at this point because i was expecting it to break whenever it tests the 12 day moving average again and i wasn't surprised mind you i didn't shut this asset i did not shut it why because i know it's a very good project and anything can happen so i didn't shut it so immediately it went below this point this was where i took my final profit at one dollar i sold off at a dollar and then i'd secured way over twenty thousand dollars on this asset so guys you could see how i have been able to make so much from this asset and obviously the line is still here the major resistance for this asset it went all the way down to this point and when it got back to this point i got in again because i knew this was a very very good position for a bounce so i got in at 50 cents but this time around i used just 30 percent of my portfolio which what i made use of was just about six thousand dollars and i got in at this point and afterwards it went back up again to almost a dollar flipped back the 12 day moving average i wasn't surprised i was actually expecting it and immediately it got to about 80 85 cents i took profit i didn't wait for it to get to this point immediately got to 80 85 cents i took profit why did i take profit it was because i had made 50 percent 50 percent of my capital which was 3k dollars I had made that so my 6k dollars was now almost ten thousand dollars so by the time I, I put together everything i had made on this particular asset i was sitting on well over twenty thousand dollars now i know most persons would be wondering like okay what's my next move for this asset yeah this video is already getting so long i'm going to make another video where i'll show you guys the next position i'm taking on this asset but guys this is a take home this is what you should get i was able to turn 500 dollars to over twenty thousand dollars just on this asset by utilizing two major things one the 12 day moving average and two the support and resistant lines just those two things i didn't draw any trend line no it was just the moving average ema 12d and the support and resistant points and so far so good if you look at this asset you would notice that it's actually a quite volatile asset and it respects the 12 day moving average yeah it really respects the 12 day moving average both on the four hours time frame and also on the daily time frame it really really respects it now this has nothing to do with some other short term very short term swing trades that i've been doing on this asset and some other assets too this video was just to explain me moving from 500 dollars to over 20k dollars on just this asset and i'll see me another video where i would also cover the actual price potential of this asset because guys trust me right now this asset is extremely undervalued both in ta and fa especially in fa it's extremely undervalued and this asset can still easily do a 10x guys a 10x and as usual this isn't fund this isn't any financial advice but in a different video i'll tell you guys what i'm doing currently on this asset and how much i'm putting in and what i am expecting to make so guys thank you very much for what for watching and please hit the subscribe button and feel free to join our channel to get more details on other projects and stay tuned as i drop the next video for the position i'm taking on this asset thank you once again guys